Hey there guys, this is Spencer Downing from the weinformant.blogspot.com here to give you my video review supplement of the Grand Slam Tennis. So right off the start, Grand Slam Tennis opens up to this simple interface and immediately gives you a bevy of options. For example, there's Play Now, which just allows you to jump straight into the game. Grand Slam, which is your basic campaign mode, and there's a lot of meat behind this mode. There's the excellent, excellent online mode, and then this is just customizing your character or whatnot. There's Get Fit. There's Tennis Party, which is all multiplayer. There's a lot of there's a lot of content here to be explored. But let's first off talk, ter talk about the Grand Slam mode, which has you creating a character from the ground up, naming him, etc., choosing his play styles, what have you. So as soon as you start up Grand Slam mode, it has you thrown into some of the most prestigious tennis tournaments known to man. And you take your player, gain some wins, gain some experience, and gain some skills against some of tennis's most renowned players. Yes, you are going to be facing some of tennis's most widely known names right off the bat, and that is not an easy task to do. But, once you go over that hill, once you start gaining some skills, once you start gaining some gear, the game sort of levels out, and you have built up this tennis player from the ground, and you are ready to come back and kick some pro ass. And that's what makes this game ultimately satisfying and ultimately addicting. Pat Cash here. Welcome to today. One last thing before I move on, I would like to give a brief mention of the excellent online mo mode that Grand Slam Tennis supports. Grand Slam Tennis works through EA Nation and allows you to find an opponent of equal skill in seconds. The game ranks you all based on your wins, losses, and ensures that you will be facing someone who is not uh, so much better than you that you will be crushed and not so much worse than you that you will easily walk over them. But not only that, Grand Slam Tennis supports a a large array of leaderboards including a country worldwide leaderboard that takes all players from all countries be and then analyzes their wins and losses and then calculates which country is currently at the best at the top of their game and currently has the best Grand Slam tennis players. It's all very cool and very innovative and adds a great incentive to keep playing as not only you are fighting for your honor, you are fighting for the honor of your country. While Grand Slam Tennis supports a variety of control options, you are going to want to ignore all of those and play this game with the Wii Motion Plus add-on. If you do not have the Wii Motion Plus add-on, then just stick to Wii Sports Tennis and ignore this game completely. But on the note of Wii Sports Tennis, if you play Grand Slam Tennis with the Wii Motion Plus as you would Wii Sports Tennis, then you will fail miserably because you cannot, you can no longer waggle randomly and hope to win. Every movement you make is very calculated, very precise, and very accurate. For example, if you swing up to down, then you will give the ball a plenty of top spin and hit it cross court. If you hit it straight in front of you with your hand open, the ball will go right down the line. It's all very intuitive, and once you get the hang of it, it feels very good. That being said, there is a huge learning curve for Grand Slam Tennis. Tennis is hard, and as a result, you cannot expect to pick up this game and just get it instantaneously. You have to work with the control scheme, and you have to learn how to master it based on the new controls, but once you do, I can assure you that you will be accurately serving cross-court and making ace returns. Just so long as you don't give up with the game, put some time into it, learn the controls, and you will be with be rewarded with what is possibly the most realistic controlling tennis game ever. Still curious about Grand Slam Tennis? There is still a lot more that can be said about the game. And if you're wondering, you can quickly head over to www.theweinformant.blogspot.com and read the full review. And if you found it informative, I hope you will leave a comment, follow the blog, and don't forget to click the dig link. And this is going to be the Wii Informant signing off for now, and I hope you'll keep coming back, or in the near future, I'll be serving up our early review of Wii Sports Resort, along with a review of Tiger...
Tiger Woods 08 and the Conduit. Thank you guys, and I'll see you next time.